Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here and the day has finally come where I am going to be reviewing the RP9 V2 from Bob CNC. So if I can get a drum roll, I would really appreciate that. And I originally wasn't going to start off by talking about the kit and the build experience uh, because I did make a separate video on that. However, I did change my mind and I figured I'd touch up on it a bit for those of you that did miss that video. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So basically, I have built two 3D printers from kits. I have the third one um, all laid out that I'm going to be building shortly. So I don't have too, too much comparison, but I still feel like I have enough from looking around and with my experience to basically at least give some input on how the build process was and how difficult and basically my experience with the whole thing. So um, what I will say is compared to the kit I currently have in the first printer that I built, Bob CNC, um, the RP9 V2 was a very easy printer to build and I say very kind of strangely because I will again basically say that the kits are not in my opinion for the faint-hearted um, if it is your first 3d printer I would definitely tread softly when to buy, um, you know deciding to basically buy a kit versus an already pre-assembled 3d printer um, again this is gonna have so many factors depending on whether you have experience with um, any other 3d printers through friends or through school or whether you've got electronic um, you know uh, experience under your belt then that might change it but if you are just interested in 3d printing and you've seen some youtube videos on it but you're not necessarily you know super knowledgeable uh, again with 3d printers in general you're going to have to learn how to be pretty knowledgeable because there's a learning curve um, definitely not that it's impossible to pick up but just be warned that again even if i say it's an easy kit to build or you know very easy kit to build um Take that lightly, don't get it, and then spam my comments saying, I hate you, this is difficult. So I'm just saying, compared to what I built in terms of parts, it was really simple. Bob has a PDF that basically has each thing step by step with really nice pictures, really large text. Um, everything was in there. The only issue, which again, I mentioned before, is that this thing uses um, fishing string instead of belts, and it is a little bit of a pain to set up, but it is not impossible, and as long as you kind of go into it with an open mind and you take some time look at the pictures and the knot the knot is already tied for the belt um however um if you're like me and you screw it up and you have to basically retie or um make a new belt out of the fishing string um it's it's not super difficult if you just look on youtube on how to tie that special knot which i believe is like the universal fishing knot or something of that nature but other than that everything is really simple the wood's actually really easy to work with again the only other thing you're going to want to watch out for is basically not over tightening things because again although it is wood and it is relatively solid um, if you tighten things too tightly you can risk stripping and then also when it comes to the fishing string if you don't like it i did upgrade to a rubber belt which I do have a video on so that is always an option as well um, typically I feel like those that get into 3d printing uh, also enjoy messing with them after a while not all there's obviously different demographics of people that 3d print but if you are the average hobbyist that is looking to get into 3d printing chances are you're going to want to learn the ins and outs of your machine and do all sorts of crazy customizing so that is also an option which brings me to one point is that this is basically a Prusa style machine, meaning that there are a decent amount of upgrades out there that you can use for this. I will say that it is a unique Prusa style machine in the sense that Bob did design it himself. Um, it does not use printed parts or you know 2020 aluminum. It does use a form of wood that he basically CNC mills out. So some of the upgrades might not be usable, but again, at the same time, there are upgrades that you can definitely do to this thing just based off the fact that it is a Prusa style printer. Now, in terms of actual functionality, this thing is fantastic. I never had any issues once I got it set up with the actual um, print or belt or homing or anything of that nature. Um, Believe it or not, this printer, um, which again to me, the leveling is set up where you just adjust the left and right Z axis to basically get it level. I changed it again, I modded it basically to have a adjustable bed. Um, you can adjust the four corners via springs to kind of give it a front, back, left, and right customizable angle to, you know, just kind of make it level a little better. Um, but once I had this thing leveled, it prints phenomenal. And I 
honestly think that it might print better than either the Fulgur Tech 2020 or the Da Vinci. The Da Vinci is close, but I definitely think it's printing better than my Fulgur Tech. Um, I do print the Fulgur Tech differently. I print it directly on the glass while with Bob CNC, since it doesn't have a heated bed, I do print it directly on tape. But with the Fulgur Tech, I always seem to get uh, issues with one corner curling. And on Bob CNC, I never had any issues with curling, which is phenomenal to me. Um, the amount of detail that I got on the few things that I printed on there, um, all were just extremely impressive. Like I was actually mind blown with how good the quality came out. So if you're wondering how the quality is going to turn out, then, you know, don't be warned uh, or, you know, you don't worry. It, it's really, really good. So that I really like. Um, again, the build is awesome. Bob is awesome as well. Um, if he gives me the same amount of support or if he gives you the same amount of support as he's given me through this process, then you, again, will have no worries and the customer service is phenomenal. He responds to emails crazy quickly. There's also a Google group, um, which is basically like a forum put together uh, where people can showcase mods and upgrades and questions that they have. I will say that because Bob CNC um, is not a relatively huge company that the amount of users uh, is limited and I can't really say how active the forums are but there was still some good knowledge on there and I do like that there's a community of people that do have these printers and are painting them which is again another neat thing that since it's wood you can paint them beforehand and really give your 3d printer a custom look now if there were any like downsides I would say that I wish it included a heated bed um, Again, for me personally, not a huge deal because it is like base, it's my PLA machine. That's what it is for me. Um, I have two other printers that have heated beds. They can print any other sort of filament. Um, while this is strictly a PLA machine, you can upgrade to a heated bed and upgrade the power supply to basically make it able to print those other filaments. But obviously that's gonna cost you an additional charge and that's something you have to decide if you wanna do. Um, that's kind of gonna be the only Thing. Other than that, um, I honestly think it is a fantastic printer. It is extremely sturdy. It doesn't take up too much space. Um, the build size on it is roughly like 200 by 200 by I want to say one. 180, 170-ish range. So, I mean, relatively standard for, um, you know, kind of a starter kit or just, I guess, a desktop 3D printer. That's basically the standard build size on it. But yeah, the parts he chose are quality. I like the fact that it's got a Bowden setup and it doesn't put a lot of strain on the actual extruder since all the weight is taken off of it. And I honestly cannot say enough good things about my experience. Now, I've got to be honest with you guys. And the only downside I could potentially think of is that I don't know if I would particularly get this printer as my first 3D printer. That's obviously your call. Um, I do like, like with my uh, aluminum build, that it's definitely got a lot more customizability got going on with it. And obviously, if you have to have heated bed, um, you know, it's not going to be a printer for you. But it's really not that difficult to add certain things to it. Like if you want to add an LCD screen, I added cooling fans, again, things of that nature. It just depends on how involved you want to get with it. But I definitely will say that if you are looking to acquire another 3D printer and you want something different, and, or if you don't have a Prusa style and you want to get a Prusa style, then this is an excellent option for you. And again, there's plenty, I made plenty of videos on it. Bob has some videos. There's got the forum. You can find out information. I'm going to place a link in the description like I always do back to his website where you can at least look at pictures and kind of get a feel for it in the build and maybe see if it's something you want to do but again this is a very custom kit it is not mass produced i believe bob uh, bob basically makes these things out of home and um i really really like that i'm a huge fan of supporting and making the 3d community uh printing community grow and i feel like by supporting him we are doing so again awesome guy awesome customer service and uh yes yeah, so that's really all i have to say about it i can't think of anything else um I did mention that the parts for extreme quality, the extruder works very well. Like I said, I'm getting great prints. It comes with a 0 0.04 diameter nozzle, which is a standard nozzle. So you can expect that on just about any printer, whether it's kit or, you know, bot uh, pre-done. So on that note, I will end the video. If you have any other questions for me, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. But hopefully I covered everything. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed for more great videos. And if you'd like to support this channel furthermore, there are awesome perks and you can do so for just a dollar, um, basically by going to my Patreon, which will be in the description down below. And um, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. If not, the content will remain free. It's no big deal. I'm not going anywhere. And on that note, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic week. This is Daniel from Modbot, and I will see you in my next video. Peace, guys.